Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got Special Hobbies 148 scale AH1 Cobra. Now this is the high-tech boxing of this kit. Just to get this one out there, they do another version, but this is the one with all the goodies in it. So this has actually got the resin and the photo etch parts, a little bit of 3D printed stuff, mask sets, and all the goodies as well. They do another version of this, and I know some people get confused between the two. So as I built recently, or say recently, a year ago now, the big uh, 30 second one, it's quite nice to see it in 48 scale as well. So anyway, let's have a look. So nice bit of box art down there on the front. As you can see, this is the one with the M35 system. Uh, which means you get sort of pads on the side and all the rest of it. All right. So uh, very nice gun system on that particular one. As I said before, this one does come with some uh, high-tech accessories. So you've got some 3D printed parts down in here. You've got some normal sort of resin stuff as well, photo etch, color, and obviously normal. And we've got a mask set as well. So you've got some nice detailed bits down in here. Your kit number for this one is SH48230. And some of your marking options down in there. It's got a shark's mouth, so it wins with me. All right, so in the box, if you can get in, there we go. We are greeted by, hold that up. <clears throat> We've got the instructions, which is fair enough. We've got, this is the resin part, seem to be escaping down in there. You see the resin parts are done by CMK. So I'll check master resin. Uh, we've got one bag with it all down in there just like that. We've got mask set, and I'm assuming the other bits and pieces are all in here somewhere. Uh, so down in here. No, I thought we had some other bits in here as well. Some photo etch, I'm hoping that we'll get that down in here. Right, that must be in the bag we're assuming. Okay, so in the bag itself, down in here, we have there it is. There's the all the resin bits and pieces. We'll have a proper look at these in a moment. So that down in there. And then we are got a couple of bits of loose on the screws running around in here. There we go. There's our photo etch and stuff. So that's the bit I was looking for. I didn't know if it's separate bagged. So that's down in there as well. So it's very nice. Clear pots and separate bag. And obviously we've got the obligatory sprues running around in here, causing a little bit of sprue rub, which is obviously knocking off some of the parts, as we can see. We'll keep that bit separate. And then obviously we've got lots of weapons. We've got the two types of tails, so obviously the different versions of the Cobra, and obviously the main bits with the fuselage and stuff like that. So in our little booklet, <clears throat> usual thing we've got down in here, check and in English. We've actually got down in here, you can see it's got a lot of these parts all crossed out. I'm worried too much because a lot of these are replaced with the resin. That's what that one's calling out. But we do have obviously some of the tails that we're not using in various parts as well because of other versions. All right. So fear not with all of those. If you're wondering why it's a bit big crosses through absolutely everything. So down in here, it's nice. We've got color instructions calling these out. So we say we've got that photo etch as well going onto the seats to liven up those different bits and pieces. And then... <clears throat> working our way putting the cockpit down in there and again a couple of other bits down in here i think this is some of the resin uh the pur stuff is the normal sort of resin parts as well and again we've got 3d printed parts which are these ones just down in here so we've got a uh, cyclic and we've got the collective and we've got the weapons uh, targeting system i think for the the tow missiles and things like that and the gun so that's down in there the cockpit system down in this one obviously we've got uh, two different versions obviously A and B types down and fitted down in there. Those being fitted in all the various sites and that. And again, really nice detail on this. We didn't get this much detail, to be honest, on the 32nd one. So we've got really nice uh, sighting systems and uh, sort of gun sights, things like that down in here. And again, different bits down the back as well. And then I'm obviously working along the fuselage. So you've got some color call outs talking about those down in there and then sandwiching the two halves together, making sure you've got that exhaust in place first. Then we've got the, uh, the little slab armor that pulls up uh, on each side uh, for the little bit of extra crew protection down in there. Cockpit sections all being assembled and put together and then the underside. So we've got the belly system going on there and the areas around the chin turret. And then obviously we've got the weapon pylons and we've got these side pods as well for the gun uh, ammunition and for these sort of mini guns that will fit onto it as well if you're going to be fitting those on this one. 
Okay, and then various other parts. So we've got other pylons, obviously the weapons for the chin turret. We've got some little bits as well for a helmet down in here, a few little bits of photo etch and resin down on those ones. And again, all these little details being added on tail rotor, the skids, depending on the scheme, there'll be different types of skids with this one. Uh, and then obviously glasswork going in. So you're probably going to mask that up before fitting. So you've got your glasswork going down in there, and then they've got the main rotor head as well. So really nice rotor head assembly, very detailed, some nice touches down in there. If you did want to do it with the wheels on, you can do it with the wheels as well. If you want the towing jack on there, no problem at all. And then we've got some nice other bits down in here as well. So as you say, you've got your mast set going onto this one. We've got your rockets, and again, we've got the gun system. And then I think this is an extra drill one. We've actually got pilot figure uh, with or without his helmet on, things like that as well. Color call outs down in here. So obviously these are uh, Vietnam 1968 to 1972. And then obviously we've got some 1970s versions down in here. Nice sort of cool uh, shark's mouth down on this one. A full shark's mouth like mine had just down in here at the back as well. So there we go. We've got the summer 71 down in there. And obviously 1972 with this one down here with a nice colorful red tail. Standard sense stencil uh, data. Uh, and marking points as well so they are all on there just like that right so as you can see we've got the decal sheet looks very nice indeed some very nice ones down in there it's, uh, it says it's done by special hobby carrier film looks a little bit heavy and a little bit wide by today's standards but still nothing wrong with that and then we have got as I say color photo etch down in here so that's quite nice and we've got standard little bit of photo etch down in that so that's very nice indeed then we've got the sights. Now I'm not going to get these out because I don't want to destroy the box and lose them and all the rest of it. But you can see down in here we've got these. These are beautifully 3D printed. So we've got the sight click and the various sights down on there. We've got that front column just down in here as well. All right, so that's very nice. We will have a look-see in here though. So down in here we've got a nice bag of flash. <laughs> but you see these are these seat cushions. They're very nice indeed. And again we've got some little tiny details just down in there. We've got the wheels for the sort of towing dolly system. We've got more bits of the seats. We've got the side armor, and then obviously we've got the barrels uh, for the sort of the minigun on the chin turret. So we've got those as well. We've got more details so down in here. You've got a normal um, sort of collective. I assume one's gonna be the pilots. One will probably be more detailed than the uh, gunners, uh, but we've got those down in there. So nice 3D printed uh, seats as well. Actually, these are resin. Sorry, I think these are off of a master 3D printer. These are actually resin ones. And then we've got the rockets. So we've got some nice rocket pods down in there. Very nice indeed. These are these crew helmets. Really nice detailed helmets down in there. So that's very nice. And then we've got some more details for our extinguisher. Some hoses down for the cockpit. And some more different bits of padding. And a little stick down in here as well. That's very nice indeed. I don't think we, we need those bits. All right, I'll just pop these back in the bag because I am prone to losing stuff doing reviews. So we'll pop these, keep these all nice and safe. And again, no parts that are broken off, so that's all right. Seats, wheels. Okay, let's keep those nice and safe. So that's a couple of really nice extras having those like that. Again, there is other bits and pieces out there as well if you wanted to go down that route. Uh, we've got this little tiny guy here whilst we've got the close-up camera. As I say, I don't know if it's come off a sprue. It doesn't look like it has. I think it's just thrown in the bag loose. But uh, you'd have to do your homework to find out what that bit is for. We've also got a die-cut mask set. You can see it down in there as well. So it's very nice for that one. So you've got an internal and externals. So a uh, nice way of doing that all the way through. Okay, so main sprue itself really nice what i love about this you've got a nice mixture of raised details and recessed details on this one right the way through so as you can see beautiful sharp crisp details down here special hobby have come such a long way in recent years very nice indeed i love the difference in the textures as well that's actually very very sharp and these aren't just panel lines you've actually got the access riveting around them as well but this is all raised rivets down the back which is really very nice as well. But what I love about this, the raised rivets don't go on the bottom, which is good because that means you're only going to sand them off and obliterate them. Obviously, it doesn't matter them on the top anyway. So that's quite good. Over here, we've got the side winglets, if you like, the tails. And again, you get the riveted version or the blank, depending on the side. We've got that side armor system, various things. There's that gorgeous rotor head 
with a lamination. Very nice indeed. And all the small parts just down in here. I'm looking for the one that's missing so far. I can't see it, but it's very nice indeed there. Then we got the tail to say, you're only going to be using one tail from this. So that's your, your tails down in there. And again, really nice. We've got a mixture of raised and recessed details down on these tails. And then obviously we've got the panel. So we've got the gunner's panel and we've got the pilot's panel down in here as well. Both beautifully done. But again, we've got color photo etch to replace that. We've got those exhausts, sorry, the intakes for the engines. We've got the tail rotor, all the various parts beautifully done down in there, just like that. And then, well, it's just a case of working your way through. So here we got the skids. So there's two types of skids. You've got the blade type and obviously the pole uh, down in there as well. So we've got both of those. All right. And then up here as well, we've got the chin garret too. You've got the twin or we've got the single. So again, you could probably interchange. And we've got the exhaust with the, the lip. This is the sort of 90 degree bend up as well. So uh, obviously different versions that you can probably do in one box. Obviously do your homework first. I think we found our missing part. Okay, so that's what that part is for, is for this guy just down in here. All right, so again, this one is about to fall off. The sprue is very, very delicate, clearly, because you can see it's literally ready to come off. Anyway, all the tiny little details, beautifully done. Very, very small uh, sprue gates. That's nice, really very nice indeed. All right, we'll keep that safe. We've got the cockpit tub. And the areas, as you can see, just down in here like that. The seats, actually the normal seats aren't that bad. It has not got quite as much detail perhaps as the uh, resin ones, but they are very nice. And we've got that side armour as well that's in here. So you've got both options if you did want to do it. But again, really very nicely, sharply detailed with all of those. And then we've got down in here rocket pods. Again, we have got a direct replacement. So we've got some of those there. We've got normal... Rocket pots as well, the folding fin variety as well. So we've got a couple of those. And oops, we've got down in here, this is your towing eye. So obviously you've got normal wheels, but again, this is your bracing as well. So if you want to put it down on some wheels, as if it's having some maintenance, you can do that as well. Uh, this is the bit, which is the M35, I do believe. So it's extended pods on the side, which carries, which is this gun. Now this gun actually obviously is like a mini gun and needs a lot of ammunition. So it's fitted in these extra ones just down in here as well. This is the feeding system that's going to clip underneath that will feed that ammo through it. You've got dedicated pylons for this as well to mount the actual gun on that. So that's very nice. And then we've got the other type of gun as well, which is the pod variety as well. So again, we've got all your different types of weapons and we've got the smaller rocket pods as well, the little seven shot ones. Uh, so obviously it depends on which version you want to do. You can sort of fit it out with different types of weaponry. Last up, we've got the clear parts, which we will have a newsy in the old bag, just to see how nice and clear they are. You've got two types of clear parts in here. So we're definitely expecting another version. So that's what that is. That is uber clear. That's beautifully clear. Very nice. So you've got both types. So it'd be a case of, uh, Watch this space for other versions. And if you know your Cobra as well, you could probably do the other version as well now. Because it looks like they are all of them just down in here as well. That's very nice. But that's a very delicate sprue. Beautifully done. Very, very thin, as you can see just down in there. That's it. It's a Cobra. They're a bit like buses. We didn't see Cobras for years and now they're everywhere. But at least now we've got a really nice 48 scale one as well. Because as I say, we've had obviously 30 second one, different versions come along with that one. And now obviously we've got a 48 scale one as well out there. And again, this particular version is available with ICM with their Bronco. But obviously it's not the high tech version. It won't come with all the goodies. It'd be the standard one. That said... To be honest, it's really nice, just is. You've got some really nice different options down in this kit all the way through, and actually I think it will make a lovely little kit. Anyway, there we go. That's the Special Hobby 148 scale AH-1G Cobra.